And just like that, the final episode of Shogun is upon us. With it being a limited series and it being said that there's not going to be a season 2, next week is the final time that we'll see a new episode with these characters on our screens, and it's such a shame. Following the emotional, climactic ending to episode 9, FX have released the 25 seconds that we all sit there and eagerly await following the end of the episode, and that's the trailer for the next inclusion. With it seeming like there's a lot that the show is going to have to fit into the final episode, I'm really intrigued to see how they're going to do it. This final episode has to be a big one, and I don't feel like it will disappoint. So with that, let's jump into the trailer and break down all that there was to take away from it. Plus, I'll also give my theories and predictions on what I think will happen. Here is Shogun Episode 10 Trailer Explained. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers from the FX TV show, the 80s miniseries, and the novel. So, you've been warned. So the trailer for the next episode opened up with Father Martin Alvito walking through the woods with John Blackthorne, and he said the line, Ishid Osama has mobilized to war, Torunaga will be dead in weeks. This shows that Ishido has most likely let some of the hostages go following what happened. He didn't want Marikor dead because he knew what the response would be from those that were being forced to support him, and also the high families around Osaka. So now, with Marikor being killed and not being held hostage and not being able to be used as leverage, Ishido has most likely realized that he needs to go on the offensive and not wait for retaliation from Torunaga, thus meaning that he could release the hostages and he finally realized that Torunaga wasn't just going to come quietly and he's now been forced into war. I also found it interesting that Father Martin Alvito was alongside Blackthorn. This makes me think that he switched allegiances. We saw a couple of episodes back that he said to Delacroix that he was questioning whether or not they picked the right side when it came to siding with Ishido. And with Ishido essentially ordering the shinobi to take Mariko against her will and being responsible for her death, he may no longer feel as though he wants to side with Ishido in that regard. After all, Father Martin Alvito and Mariko were long-term friends of 14 years, and he helped her in the past when she needed somebody most. The war that Father Martin Alvito is referring to is most likely the Battle of Sekigahara, which we may or may not see on screen. Within the 80s TV series, the Battle of Sekigahara wasn't shown to us, the preparations before were, and the outcome of the battle was narrated to us, something which is extremely important. And I feel like this show could do something similar, but maybe there could be some kind of visual aid if they do? There's not been a narrator throughout this version of the show, so it would be weird if it did just randomly occur in this way in the closing moments of the show. However, we could just end up having text appear on screen like it did at the start. Either way, an all-out battle would most likely need a full episode, and with there only being one episode left, I don't think we're going to get a battle. This show hasn't been about the battles and the violence, it's been about the art of conversation, deceit, manipulation, and how Torunaga has been playing everybody that's in front of him. And I think that is what will take the key focus in these closing moments, maybe getting an epilogue-type inclusion spoken from the perspective of Torunaga. The next part of the trailer then saw John Blackthorn meeting with Torunaga, who was still in his mourning period for Nagakado. Blackthorn said, Don't you understand? I came to your shores to use you. Blackthorn is most probably saying this line because he's realized that he's so far away from the original reason that he ended up going to Japan. He said how he wanted to use Torunaga because his original intention of going there was to exploit the people and engage in trade and commerce with the Dutch trading company. However, the funny thing is, Blackthorn is the only person in this exchange that has ended up being used. The look on Torunaga's face after John spoke to him in that way was that of anger. We've not seen anybody speak to Torunaga like that before, so it's going to be interesting to see his reaction. Obviously, Torunaga can't understand Blackthorn as he's speaking in Portuguese, but tone is key in this, and tone is something that is universal. After this section of the trailer, we then saw Ishido, Lady Ochiba no Kata, and the Council of Regents meeting, and Ishido said the line, The vote is done. War is inevitable. I think this could be the vote that might get put in place to release the hostages that were being kept in Osaka in order to have some kind of leverage over the generals and daimyos that were being loyal to Ishido. This is why I feel one of the next shots had people walking outside of the gates, so the hostages will most likely be going free in the finale. I think the killing of Marikor could be something that could divide the regions. One interesting shot that appeared before that though was of John Blackthorne holding a blade. A blade that is the size of one that's usually used for seppuku. Maybe in this instance, Blackthorne is threatening to commit seppuku. Or this could be connected to the scene that looks like it's going to be taking place where Yabushige is being taken away. Spoilers for what happens to Yabushige in 3, 2, 
1. Yabushige will be ordered to commit seppuku by Toronaga following the revelation of him being involved in the attack that killed Mariko and many of the other men. There was a scene in the trailer where it looked like Yabushige was being taken away, and I think this is going to be him being taken to Toronaga where he's going to be ordered to commit seppuku. The fear in his eyes was a fear like we've not seen in his face before. He was going to be meeting death, the very thing that he wanted to steer clear from. Yabushige spent the entirety of his time trying to play both sides, and ultimately, he ended up in the worst possible situation that he could have done, being on none of their sides and none of them being on his. He never saw the bigger picture and only saw what was in front of him and the opportunity to survive in that moment, and that lack of loyalty is going to be the very thing that will cost him his head. This is what I predict the final moment in the trailer was as well, the moment that Toranaga was holding his sword. I think he's most likely going to be the person that will be seconding Yabushige. Within the book and the 80s TV series, Yabushige gifts John Blackthorn his katana. I imagine this will most likely happen in this show too. I think it will be because it will mark a full cycle of development between both the Anjin and Yabushige. Way back in the first episode, Yabushige was looking down upon Blackthorn as his life was in his hands and he could have been killed. And now it was the other way round. Blackthorn looking at Yabushige as he was on the verge of death. So that will most likely be a powerful moment for sure. Yabushige showing respect for Blackthorn. One other section in the trailer that appeared was a group of men all by the water with ropes trying to pull something in. I believe this is going to be where we'll see that John's ship, the Erasmus, has been destroyed. Within the novel and the TV series, it's revealed that Toranaga destroyed the Erasmus and tasked Blackthorn with building a new ship. This is so that Blackthorn can fulfill his karma of never leaving Japan. Blackthorn wanted to go up against the black ship, take the gold, and eventually return to England. But with Toranaga keeping the engine in Japan because he wants to learn more from him, destroying his only way out was the only way he could keep him. So the men that we see in this clip are most likely the men that will be building Blackthorn's new ship that Toranaga assigns to him, or they're going to be pulling in the wreckage of the Erasmus. One final part of the trailer that I haven't touched on yet is the small scene that occurred with it seeming like the cross that Mariko had was being dropped into the water. The cross for when she had no words. I'm going to presume that this is most likely going to be Blackthorn paying his respect to Mariko because in this moment, he probably will have no words. The final episode of Shogun is one that does have a lot riding on it because the show has been one of the best, if not the best thing on TV this year. So we've all got high hopes. I'm not predicting an all-out battle, but I also wouldn't mind being surprised and getting one at the same time. It's been an amazing show to go on a journey with, and I'm just gutted that next week it will be at its end. So, there you have it, Shogun Episode 10 Trailer Explained. If you want to see more videos on Shogun, then click on the card in the top corner. I've been covering the entirety of the show and will be continuing to do so until it finishes. Plus, I'm also working on a different kind of video for when the show concludes, and that will be getting released next week, so be sure to stay tuned for that. How do you think Shogun will end? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. As always, thanks for tuning into the video, and I'll see you in the next one.